Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can get level 75 in the Order of Souls in the fastest and most efficient way. We're going to be only going over Order of Souls targeted methods, so nothing like Fort of the Damned or Flameheart, because everyone knows that they're good, but only things you can do through Order of Souls. So the two methods we're going to be showcasing in today's video are the Skeleton Fleets, and the Skeleton Captain Bounties. Before we get into the video, make sure to uh, subscribe, leave your feedback in the comments if you enjoy the video, what you want to see in the future. You know, we're open to suggestions, we love hearing your feedback, so if you want to get in touch with us, feel free, leave a comment, subscribe, join our Discord. We notice all of you and it's very much appreciated. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Coming up in method one, we have the Ghost Fleets. Now, what these are are basically a shortened version of the Flameheart World event, but instead of getting Merchant, Gold Hoarder, and Order of Souls loot, you just get Skeleton Skulls. Now, there are only two waves of Ghost Ships which you need to fight, in contrast to the four from Flameheart. Just one normal way to destroy Ghost Ship by Ghost Ship and then move on to the Captains. Now, towards the end, you get three Captains, you get two normal kind of Captains, and then the final Flagship. Uh, obviously, to do this in the most efficient way, you want to take out the two normal Captains first, and then finally take out the Flagship. As taking out the Flagship, before you take out the other Captains, despawn the captains and you only get the final flagship loot. Now as you can see in this footage we actually get a decent little amount of gold for this but obviously the main thing we're looking at is the reputation so we actually went up from a level 4 in order of souls all the way up to level 19. Now this is actually really good now obviously we know le leveling up the lower levels is a lot easier than leveling up the higher levels but um I actually used this method to get 75 myself. I believe I went from 68 to 75 in just two or three days, purely because I was trying to get the um, Skeleton Captain sales, which we uh, have done a video showcasing on if you haven't seen that by the way. But um, yeah, so this is actually still really good for rep even in the higher up levels rather than just the lower levels, but it'll work very, very well if you're just trying to get 50 for that Pirate Legend status. Anyway, that about wraps up this method. It's rather simple. Uh, so I think it's time we move on to method number two, which is the skeleton bounties. Obviously, to start this up, you're going to head on over to the Order of Souls tent, speak to the lady, buy the voyage, turn around, raise up your emissary, and uh, vote on the voyage. And once you have done this, you will receive some skeleton maps. Now, what we are doing is we are filtering out the bad maps. So ones that have one or two skeletons on, we are not going to do. We are only going to do three and four skeleton maps. Now, this is because it's just a waste of time. I mean, if they're really close to each other, then you can. But uh, it, honestly, it's just a waste of time. So only do the three or four skeleton maps. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, we have Wanderer's Refuge, The Sunken Grove and Marauder's Arch. So we're just going to head on over there. When completing these bounties, you're just going to be going through waves of skeletons, much like the uh, skeleton forts if you have completed one of them. Um, it's very simple, you just get gold skeletons which cannot be sorted. Uh, you get the tropical skeletons which cannot be shot, and they regenerate health in water. The gold ones uh, take damage in water. Um, you also get the ghost skeletons which you need to hold up your lantern in order to give them light if it is night time and you also just get the uh, normal skeletons. I'm going to be showing you uh, footage of me completing the three bounties, feel free to skip forwards, uh, I will have timestamps so uh, yeah just sit back listen to the music or skip forwards and I'll see you when we are selling. As you can see here, we actually ended up getting a grade five Order of Souls emissary flag. Now this is good. This is actually really good because this is gonna be the way you get the most emissary reputation. 
Now, as you can see, when we are selling, we actually made uh, a decent amount of reputation. We went from grade 19 up to grade 24. Now, uh, this took roughly 50 minutes for us to actually complete the voyage and sell. So, I mean, if you think about it, five levels in an hour, it's not the greatest considering how low of a level we are and the uh, amount of XP required to level up. But um, overall, it's not terrible. But I would definitely recommend doing the ghost voyages with a grade 5 emissary as that is a sure way to level you up faster. Now obviously there are other ways which you can do this such as Fort of the Damned and uh, obviously this is a good way because you get about I believe 5 stronghold skulls and obviously loads of gems so you can sell the gems to order of souls as well um so there's that you can also do normal skeleton fleets and there's also flame heart where he drops you about 13 to 14 ghost skulls now considering the ghost voyage took us roughly 20 minutes and flame heart will take us about 30 minutes you could actually do a flame heart with an order of souls emissary up you could get grade 5 i actually haven't tested this out but you'll get about double the amount of skulls so flame heart is an option but obviously flame heart isn't always up whereas these ghost voyages are always up for sale however you do have to be level 25 originally in order of souls to have access to these voyages so maybe flame heart is the way to go however you could actually do devil's raw bounties now this is good because you'll get the exact same amount of skulls however they will be in ashen variant and we'll, if you're new to the game you may not know but most of us do the ashen variant of treasure sells for more uh, you get more gold and more reputation for it. So you very well could go and do the Devil's Raw bounty voyages. However, you just have to worry about the uh, volcanoes. Much like the merchant missions, you could do the Devil's Raw cargo, but uh, you have to worry about the volcanoes. So there's that option. Uh, that's also pretty good for reputation, but uh, that's totally up to you. But that about wraps it up for today's video. Uh, we would say that the best way is probably to do the ghost voyages if they are accessible to you as they're quicker than Flameheart and you get a decent amount of skulls and reputation. However, if you prefer to do Flameheart because the overall gold is better, then feel free to go and hop for Flamehearts with your Order of Souls Emissary. Uh, the bounty voyages aren't necessarily recommended, but if, if you want something more chilled out and relaxed, something you can do at night time and not have to worry about your ship sinking, then feel free to go for the bounty voyages they aren't the worst but that wraps up for today's video we hope you've enjoyed if you have please subscribe we're nearing nearing 20k and uh, we really want to get that partnership with sea of thieves just so we can bring you the best content possible and we have so many so many plans for the future and it, honestly you guys need to be need to be here for it otherwise you're just missing out on the best sea of thieves content you're honestly hand on heart this is the best content you're going to see ever so um yeah thank you for watching leave a comment subscribe share the video all of that stuff and uh we'll see you in the next video goodbye